big gay husband. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the gayest of all the gays, Don Levy. Woo! 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 King of all the gays. King of all the gays. of the gays will have to be such <laughs> sometime. Um, even though we're not having a roast of Barry, I'm going to read this poem anyway. It's an old poem. She claims she's going to read it at my funeral. So you hear it, you'll think, what the heck is she doing? Um, this is a poem I wrote years ago. Um, I was inspired partly um, reading the book Edie, about Edie Sedgwick. And there's a um, passage in the book about they did this art show in Philadelphia, the, the whole Warhol game. And there were so many people coming to this art show, they took down the art because they didn't want the art to be crushed. <laughs> so basically the art show was Warhol and his, his gang there, his, his group there. So this is called Mod Fashions, and there's an epigram from Gerald Malenga from The Secret Diaries. We did three shows at the Chrysler Art Museum. We wore Mod Fashions, got three flower print shirts, and this is called Mod Fashions. We wore Mod Fashions. We wore knee-high boots. We rode the limo to the art reception on time. We wore mod fashions. We wore black tights. There was no art on the wall. We were the art show. We wore mod fashions, got free flower print shirts. We wrote out autographs. We were loved by all. We wore mod fashions. We read cool poetry. We made deep films in fuzzy black and white. We wore mod fashions. We flew flew silver balloons, we danced the frug, we were loved by all, we wore mod fashions, got three flower print shirts, the world girls wore black mini skirts, we were loved by all, we wore mod fashions, we went to a doctor for shots, we flew <laughs> silver balloons in fuzzy black and white, we wore mod fashions, we had orgies on the couch, there was no art on the walls, we were the art show. We wore mod fashions. We wore knee-high boots. We left the art reception in limos on time. Now this is a newer poem. Um, and it, well, you know, I in my news feed I, and um, on Facebook, I get all these uh, gay news organizations, and they all have all these great like stories and um, in Kansas before they were going to have this bill one of those um, you know the freedom of religion bills yeah actually more, you know if you're religious you can discriminate against gays and say oh you can't you can't eat here well, well that's what that's what Jesus wanted <laughs> that's exactly that's what exactly what <laughs> you idiot. So anyway, there was a deli. According to the story, there was a deli that thought this law was going to be in Kansas, but it never did get to Kansas. Um, so they had the sign uh, taped to the, ca the cash register, and it said, "No gay eating here." Oh, <laughs> no, don't eat gays here. And you I, cannot I, cook and eat gays. And Do you know all day so long on Facebook. <laughs> My friends and I were figuring out what gay eating is. So this is called No Gay Eating Here. You're just figuring it out now? A sign in, Kansas, in a Kansas deli, way ahead of the law that would let Christians be able to discriminate against gays and lesbians, taped to a cash register a sign that said, No Gay Eating Here. And my friends and I were wondering about the definition of gay eating. Would gay eating consist of you imitating Paul Lynn while you <laughs> ate your ham sandwich? What if you hit on the sweaty 300 pound man slicing the brisket? <laughs> or you kept in reenacting scenes for Brokeback Mountain for the whole deli to see? <laughs> or you asked them if they had any Harvey milk? <laughs> He ran into the deli and shouted, I need 35 dill pickles now. <laughs> or if you said, heavens to Murgatroyd, like Snapplepuss used to. <laughs> or if you went to the owner and said, you are hotter 
than the hot pastrami. <laughs> and how would you know that there was a gay man eating there? And be eating a BLT in your deli. Is it the pink art guy sweater he wears? <laughs> or if he raises his pinky while eating? Does he quote loudly from last night's episode of Modern Family? <laughs> Is he wearing an old act up t shirt? Does he drink chamomile tea? That sounds pretty gay. <laughs> or maybe the sign means that zombies should not eat the gay customers. <laughs> Which I think is a very good policy to implement. Except I don't think zombies read signs. <laughs> Thank you all.